let us first create a new simulink model. Once the simulink model has opened, just type in the following command to obtain the email models which are pre-compiled. Select the convolution model from the signal processing block and paste it in the simulink model. Click on system model reference and create model reference. Now double click on the function block and make the following changes. The output vector is a vector of size 110. Let us make it of size 10 and the input vectors of size 5 each. Save your work in your desired folder. Give it a name. Let's say convolution. <coughs> now click on find reference variables as shown and define the size of the inputs and outputs from the subsystem block. Change the size from 80 to 5 for the inputs, minus 1 for inherited output. You can change the scope of the input and output variables as shown. Close it, save your work once again. And finally, add your input and output blocks from the HDL coder block. Commonly used block, select input, select output, and then just join the individual blocks. Build all, but ensure that your antivirus is off. You would get an error to change the solver option from variable step to fixed step. Apply the change and turn off your antivirus. Now go to HDL code and HDL workflow advisor. Click on your created subsystem. And initially set target, choose your FPGA device. and your project output folder and then change the HDL output from VHDL to Verilog as shown and optimizations make whatever changes necessary choose test bench and ensure the generate RTL test bench option is clicked with course simulation also checked now the HDL workflow advisor will generate all checks and perform all functions finally give you the test bench for course simulation you would get an error for algebraic loops just make all changes, modify all changes and run it again, run all again. Now we obtain the test pinch. You can just change the inputs to constants and just select constant block from the HDL coder toolbox library which is a source indeed and make the following changes to be constants because they are vectors of dimension 5. Our H will be an impulse that is 10000 and our X will be any random vector let's say from 1 to 5. Apply changes, connect the blocks and we're done. Turn off your antivirus, ensure. Just click on Start to launch model sim. Now model sim will open if you've done everything successfully. You can see that we have 
with two vectors input run to run the test bench oh you get an error there is a type conversion error to solve this simply just delete the wires and add a type conversion block from the HDL toolbox library yes it's in common use block data type conversion it's copied make the required connections now we can simulate again click run build all ensure that your antivirus is off and build is completed just you can safely ignore this error and simulation is run As you can see, our inputs are as we've defined except for the two floating point numbers at the output. Because we've convolved with an impulse signal, we get the same signal back. Thus, we have verified our Verilog model.